Hello everyone, uh, today is April 3, Monday, and um, I don't know if you can guess in my background, but I'm actually now in hospice. So the last time we, or I made a video, I was at AVL, I was confined, and um, although they advised, uh, strongly advised at that time, to go directly to the hospice. I um, was not uh, open to the idea yet. And also with my family, uh, Tom, um, for me, hospice is too soon. And um, so uh, they encouraged me, but at the end of the day, we decided to go home um, and, uh, and take it from there. So um, actually, um, again, I'm, I'm so sorry for the late update. It's been like a month again, and um, it's really not easy for us in the last four weeks, um, you know, moving forward to now, to today. It was really not easy for us to deal with the situation. It was really heavy in the past uh, weeks, and... Uh, also the 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 the, the, the making the video um, it was also hard for Tom uh, to uh, cope up with everything how fast things are going and um, uh, giving update as well so um, so when I went home that Friday uh, so we, um, I actually felt a bit better um, when uh, because i just had a lumbar puncture and i think it also helps with the pressure with the brain so the um, headache was lessened and uh, it was kind of stable for at least uh, a week and a half uh, i had a really good um, uh, days succeeding days after um, my cousins from switzerland also flew and spent five days uh, with me when they heard the news they also uh, went and uh, to our place and stayed there um, we had a really good time together um, unfortunately i'm not um, mobile so i cannot really go out with them we cannot really uh, do anything aside from just being at home uh, talking you know a lot of eating um, and it was really nice and although uh, I think we were able uh, we were able to go out for two hours uh, for dinner and that was it that's the highlight of the time when they were there uh, that's the only time I was able to get out as well I was uh, feeling uh, good I was still walking really slow because I have to be careful with my um, with my head, you know, while walking. I cannot really move my head like uh, drastic or fast to the, to the left uh, or the right, up and down. And I have to kind of maintain a certain uh, level, you know. Um, so, yeah, but still we were able to uh, to go out. And when they went home to Switzerland, um, I have another friend who came over from Manila and uh, he also stayed over in our place and he also was there for me, you know, helped us at home. And actually he also was the one who uh, um, really encourages us seeing my situation because he was there after my cousin left, he was there for five days as well and uh, and then he went back to germany and he uh dropped by before he flew back to manila and actually he was the one who says okay i think your situation is not the same as when i was here before 10 days ago and i think it's really time to consider hospice because after my cousin left um, I already have like uh, really bad days, so a lot of headache, I can't sleep in the night, you know, I was dizzy, a lot of times I was throwing up, 
and I'm just in bed. So it was, uh, it was good to it 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 was from good to uh, getting worse, and uh, of course, at that time I'm also not thinking of going to hospice yet, um, because yeah, the 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 idea of going to hospice, it's the end station, um, it's kind of scary. I think for me, for Tom, for everyone. Um, and then, yeah, he said, you know, uh, maybe it's better to just check the hospice and, um, and check what are their conditions, you know. Um, if you go there, if you, have, if you feel better, like you have a good day, can you go home, for example, what are the conditions in terms of 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 uh, the family uh, if they can visit anytime they can stay uh, how long can they stay you know those kind of questions was really bothering us of course um, so anyway um, when he was there I was very very sick and um, that's when also we called the doctor the doctor visited me many times also the doctor the house doctor suggested that we should go to the hospice already um, and the hospice also called uh, I mean I think it was a sign on a Monday and they said that they have uh, because I was in a waiting list um, that I'm uh, next in line if I want to take it and uh, that was on a Monday we discussed it on a Tuesday that the, uh, also the house doctor said uh, I that I'm in really terrible situation, really bad. So he also I strongly suggests that we move to the hospice. So uh, they arranged it, and Wednesday I was brought here uh, by an ambulance. And uh, since then I'm here. I think that was on the twenty second of March. Um, and yeah, so. Uh, I'm here since then and by the way we were able to uh, just a quick update regarding that uh, we able to celebrate Kaya's birthday uh, first on the 18th of March that was with her uh, with his uh, friends with uh, with his friends from school so we kind of divided it uh, the kinder uh, the was children's party uh, birthday party was on the 18th so they went on a in indoor playground and on the 30th uh, last week i was also able to yeah we were able to have dinner uh, at home so it was just the four of us we had dinner uh, last thursday i also was home so i went home that day um it was a long exhausting day for me to be honest but i am so 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 happy that i was able to attend both so we were able to celebrate with the kids with his friends and uh last week also we just us uh, more intimate um so that was really nice um so yeah um for oh yeah uh, more than a week now i am here i can um the conditions uh, are pretty flexible actually uh, so when i feel good i can go home uh, not stay like sleep there but i can go home um yesterday i was at home for a few hours um you know i was able to take a bath there I can uh, and have dinner and then that was like five o'clock in the afternoon and Tom brought me back here nine o'clock uh, last uh, uh, Thursday when it was Kaya's birthday I was home from uh, 12 until uh, 10 o'clock and brought me back you know um, and yeah so actually it, it's not so bad after all um, I mean of course, I'm alone here in the um, in the room. Um, I can show you the room as well it, um, later. It's not. Uh, it's. Uh, I have my own room, so this hospice it has only four uh, guests. They call it guests. I'm the last one, fourth one. Um, so it's basically a room. I also have a, a garden. 
here um, and uh, yeah it's, I can show you around the room actually so I have the of course uh, see that's the that's the door and this one uh, <laughs> this is a door and then I have like a sink there a closet area um, oh I had guests so there's like it's busy in the table so there's a table dining table uh, a TV there you can watch Netflix um, or YouTube or other uh, you know you can connect it and yeah basically yeah this is the room yeah so um and there's other guests also in the other bedrooms um so in this uh section there's only two of us and then the other side there's also two so it's pretty quiet um and private uh i don't have any idea how hospice looks like so it was very scary but um yeah it's it's not pretty bad um yeah, it's not bad at all to be honest um and since i moved here my uh, headache has been neutralized or because i uh, i have like every every um my my medicines are monitored you know so every um uh, morning uh there's really a schedule they will uh, uh go check on me like every hour uh, how things are going and uh, if I feel good if I need anything if I need food drink so I'm pretty monitored uh, and also um, taken care of you know everything I need I can just ring this bell here <laughs> press the button and they come and then they will uh, they will ask me what I need so um, I think moving here, the first step was really, really hard. Um, but it, looking at it now, it's actually for the better. And of course, um, today I have a, I have a, a good day, um, uh, pretty much a good day. I'm able to make this video uh, uh, not busy and still can you know in my head um but of course um if you look at me now maybe you don't see somebody who's really struggling or um fighting but to be honest my good days before is not the same as now so good days before are really days so sometimes i have one or two days three days or uh, at least a day so that's the whole day uh, and my bad days before is my are my good days now so uh, since i moved to the hospice a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of it are still um, how do you call that um, a lot of days uh, are still not good so uh, i woke up uh, although it's it's kind of neutralized now in the last days but since i moved here um it was still uh we were still struggling to find that you know that consistency um or at least that it will be uh, manageable so there were days when i can't also just get up um i can't open my eyes just sleeping so tired uh throwing up um and um like what i said you know i noticed that my my uh, my my health is still deteriorating which is which is very sad and of course uh the doctors are expecting it uh quite honestly because they said i have weeks left but um before like what i said a day a whole day i have a whole day that i feel good and now i have hours that i feel good and the hours are getting less and getting less and getting less so i have a full day and have, and maybe half a day uh, and now i think it's the first time uh, since i moved here 
that I have a longest hours of feeling good. Uh, I wish I'm very, very thankful. And I don't know if this is going to be the same tomorrow um, or I'll have half of it good, half of it bad. But again, it's something I always treasure these kind of days. That's why I also made this video because I don't know if I can make it tomorrow. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, uh, that's the quick update. Um, I'm now in hospice. My condition is um, not really getting better. It's still um, the same. I have less uh, good days now, less hours of good days. Uh, I can still feel that my health is continue to deteriorate in a in a, a, a slow slow. Uh, slow uh, uh, pace uh, but still it's not there it's not getting better um, so yeah and uh, if you're asking what are the next steps for now well the doctors doesn't have treatment as I've mentioned before they will not give me any more treatment aside from continue taking the Tegreso um, what they are doing now is just um, helping me with the pain, managing with the pain that I can sleep better at night. So they also give me some sleeping pill to help me with it. Um, and yeah, basically, basically that's it. Um, there's really nothing to um, do for now. Um, my medicines are the same. You know, I have the full dose now of of the dexamethasone, the steroid, so my face <laughs> is gonna con continuously be like this. It's not gonna go smaller or anything because it's a full dose now, it's eight milligram. Um, all the dry skin from the double dose Tagreso from the medicine, it's there. So my face is so dry. My skin is also very, very dry. I have pimples and um, right now I have pimples here so it makes it also my whole face a bit swollen under under here my nose so uh, i mean these are the things side effects and these are the things that for me i better i better have them than um you know uh, have headache or had a uh, or throwing up so for me it really doesn't matter you know i have a moon face or pimples or dry skin i mean that's all um, superficial. For me, what's important is I will feel good. And uh, for now, that's all I cherish. And then that's all I treasure every day. If I have that moment, an hour, hours of feeling good, then I'm already happy. So again, guys, um, uh, I, I apologize for making it, you know, the video very late. I know you're wondering what's going on and I'm really, really sorry. It's also very hard it's, even for Tom to make a video, to make an update, seeing me in pain in all those weeks. Uh, I have some uh, videos, clips of it that I was really like uh, struggling and I was really uh, moaning for pain. You know, it was really painful. Um, I can uh, maybe attach it in, at this video. I don't know if it's nice to see, but... Uh, again, it's 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 uh, it's been really 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 tough for us in the past uh, four weeks. So um, I hope you understand, and I hope I can make uh, uh, if I continue to feel like this. I hope I can continue to uh, um, make some more videos, and again, um, maybe the live when I have the strength then maybe we can do the live uh, uh, because I think that's make it easier if you have some more questions for me. So again, um, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.